Hi, I'm Dan with Intermatic's technical support team. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to program an Intermatic EJ500C for an astronomic schedule. All right, let's get started with the programming. The first thing we'll need to do is open the door to expose the buttons. Now, the first step we're going to do is reset the timer completely. In order to reset the timer completely, we're going to need to press and hold the next on-off button. While holding the next on-off button, you may want to use a pencil to press the reset button for three seconds. Release the reset button and continue to hold the on-off for an additional three. Then you can let go of the next on-off button. You'll notice that the display is flashing 12. We're going to press the mode button multiple times until we see the year flashing. Once the year is flashing, we'll use the year plus key to program our current year. Once you have the current year displayed, you'll press the next button, which will move us to setting the date. We'll use the M plus button to set our month. Once you have the month set, you can use the day button to set the day. Once you have your date set, we'll press the next button. That'll move us to our DST selection. If you use Daylight Savings Time, you'll want to select Auto. If you do not use Daylight Savings Time, you'll want to press the Day DST button to display Manual. I happen to use Daylight Savings Time, so I'm going to select Auto. Now we'll press the Next button. That'll move us on to our Zone. You can use the Zone Plus button to change the zone. You have three choices, North, center and south. You can refer to the map in your instructions to find your appropriate zone. I'm in the center zone, so I'm going to select center. Now we'll press the next button. That's going to display your sun up time. If this time is correct, you could press the next button to view your sunset time, or if the time is incorrect, you can use the hour and minute key to set it to your correct local sunrise time. I'm happy with our 7.49 sunup time, so I'll press the next button. That'll display sunset, which happens to be 6.03 for my area, which is acceptable. We'll press the mode button now, and that's going to move us to our clock. We'll need to use the hour button to set it to our current hour. Make sure you pay attention to AM and PM and select the appropriate time. And you can use the M plus key to adjust the minutes. Once you have your time set, you can go ahead and press the mode button. This will move you to the PGM section at the top of the screen where we're going to program our first on event. We're going to press the day DST button multiple times until it displays sunup with all the days below it. Now that we have sunset displayed with all the days below it, we can press the next button to move to our off event. Again, we're going to press the day DST button multiple times until sunup is displayed. Once sunup is displayed and all the days are below it, you're done programming the timer. You'll press the mode button to put you back in the auto mode with your local time and you can close the door to the timer. It's important to know that closing the door to the timer may turn your lights on, so you may need to press the door once more to turn the lights back off. That concludes our astronomic programming for the EJ500C. For more information about our products, please visit us online at www.intermatic.com.